Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Coming on to see how things are looking. Hope everyone is doing well. I don't know why it's not coming up on my iPad. I mean, really? <laughs> so as you're coming in, be sure to say hello so that we know that you're here. Let me know how things are looking on your end. So it's another Thursday. It's actually the last Thursday of the month. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. Just trying to bring up my page here. So, as soon as I can bring up my page, I'll be able to see you all. Here we go. Oh, my sideways. Well, let's see if we could fix that. <laughs> I hope. Hello, April. Let's see if I could fix this. I don't know why this does this for me every time. Um, let's see. This maybe. No, that made it brighter. This one. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? may have to flip it a little bit. Let me give it a minute. Let me see what it does. Hmm. Might want to close your eyes until I get this situated. I may have to turn the, the turn my phone and see. <sighs> okay, well let's do this. Um let's try this you're good oh I'm doing well thank you let me try flipping it this way no it's upside down that way close your eyes <laughs> we're gonna get this right sooner or later I don't really think you want to see my iPad but we're gonna work with what we got <laughs> okay Oh, it looks like it's backwards now. Oh my goodness, really? Really? Let's try that. Let us try that and see. Oh my goodness, seriously? I don't know what the heck I did wrong. Where's my comments? Um, okay, I think I was better the way I was before. Oh my goodness. All right, one more try. Let's try this. I'm gonna get this figured out one of these days. By the time I do, I'm sure Facebook will have some kind of other update to share. So anyhow, welcome. Thank you for joining in. There we go. We're facing the right way now. Just getting a little bit of glare from my light. So I hope everyone is doing well. I'm just gonna set that light. Oh, I'll just set it there. So yes, we got a little bit of hot spill here in Pennsylvania. So as you're coming in, be sure to say hello so that we know that you are here. And April, where are you at again? Remind me, my mind is like a sieve these days. As fast as things go in, it comes back out again. So just remind me where you're at. I probably should just move my iPad over there. Maybe over here. I don't really think you want to watch me typing on there. Let me try moving it over here. Then it'll give me a little bit more room here. Minnesota. Okay. How are things in Minnesota? I hope things are going well for you there. Are you guys um, able to get out and get a uh, get around these days? We're supposed to tomorrow go to the um, yellow phase tomorrow. So that 
kind of doesn't really change too much. I don't know. I don't understand all of this. I really don't. But anyhow. Okay. Not good. Uh, well, we got two people here, and I guess I could count myself. That's three. I saw Carol come in here. Uh, maybe people are out doing things. Um, so anyhow, um, I have some fun things. So they're going to miss out on um, some different ways of coloring in. So first off, I want to do a little happy mail. I got these last week on Friday, the day after I did my live. So um, <clears throat> I had a little happy mail. This is a card that I got from Mary. And if you don't know... I run a monthly card swap, and we'd love to have you join us. If you're watching on the replay, be sure to do hashtag replay so I know that you were here. And this was a real cute card from Mary. And one of the things we like to do is put a little post-it note inside, because then you could resend the card to someone else. So our theme for the month was birthday. So every month we have a different theme. So this is her card that she sent to me, real pretty card. So thank you, Mary. And then I have another card from Lisa. Let me grab that out of the envelope. And um, Lisa sent this card using, I remember that designer series paper. I love that paper. And so she sent this real pretty card with a little happy birthday. So if you're not yet a member of our monthly card swap, we would love to join, have you join us. And if you're a demonstrator or if you're just, um, you know, a customer or you just like to make cards, all you have to do is make one card and um, send it out. So I'm going to give you a heads up, those of you that <coughs> are here. Um, June is a special month for me. June is my anniversary month. And in June, I'm going to be celebrating 20 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So can you believe that? So let's see who we got in here. Um, Mary, hello, Mary. Um, it is a it is a pretty card, Lisa. I don't know if Lisa's here. If Lisa's here or not. So anyhow, thank you for sending me happy mail. So for June, being that it's a special month for me, I'm going to have some special things going on, including giveaways. Um, I'm going to have the card swap we're going to participate in for June, being it's going to be my aunt stamp anniversary month. Um, we're going to do anniversary cards. So any type of anniversary card. Um, if you don't have a happy anniversary, you know, just don't put nothing on it then. But um, you could just write in it or, you know, maybe you could print off from your computer happy anniversary. So heads up for June. It's going to be um, happy anniversary cards. And I will be posting that on the group. Uh, I know 20 years. I can't believe that. Um, thank you for sharing. And the other fun thing that, which, of course, Stampin' Up! knows it's my 20th anniversary. They're doing a um, great starter kit promotion. I printed this off. Sorry, it's black and white. It's not all floo-foo. Um, but this is a starter kit promotion. So if you've been on the fence of joining, um, they just released this from June 3rd to the 30th, which is June is also the release of the brand new catalog, which I can't open for you yet. But hopefully those of you that have purchased from me have been receiving your catalogs in the mail. So for June, if you sign up, uh, to be a part of the Sweet Bee Stampers, you will get a free bundle, a bund bundle of your choice. So that is a great deal. So it's $99, you get $125 worth of product, and you can choose any bundle in the catalog. So a bundle is usually a stamp set with either a punch or a set of dies. So um, that is a great deal. And my thought is go big, go for the most expensive. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we also have Paper Pumpkin. Um, I did get a new Paper Pumpkin member. So that is a box, going to be a box of sunshine. And that is going to be a lot of fun. So you want to definitely sign up now. If you sign up now by June 10th, you will get the June subscription box. Okay, so make sure you do that. Um, the first day to order from this beautiful catalog is June 3rd, which is just next week. A few days only remain in order to purchase some of the items that are retiring. So check it out. Some of the items are up to 60% discount. 
and still a lot of great things on there. Stampin' Up! is coming to the end of their promised date for stamp sets, so they're not going to be making any more of them. So if they're retiring as they sell out, then they're gone. But um, I, I'm hoping to have a, a big retirement um, sale soon, you know, sometime in uh, June, July. It all depends. So that's going on. The new catalog on the 3rd. Um, you can start ordering for that. I will have a new host code posted for June. Um, the current host code is going to be retiring. Today is what? The 28th. So sad, prof, uh, probably tomorrow. The 29th will be the last day to use the May host code. So if you use the host code and place an order of $35 or more, you will get a free PDF brochure flyer booklet of 15 different projects from all their demonstrators and um, the one for this month all the different um, cards that are in there are fun folds so it's going to be it's a great month to um, go ahead and get them a lot of people like to place an order every month and they're building their collection of ideas and the pdf will include all the measurements a photograph all the supplies you need step-by-step -step directions it's it's a great thing so, and you only have to spend $35 before tax and shipping and use the host code, which is the most important. Then I know that you want to receive the PDF flyer. So all that being said, I don't know if I missed anything else. If I did, oh well. Just keep watching here on my Facebook page if I did. So um, we are going to be working with a brand new bundle that's coming out. So if you've gotten your catalog, you can go ahead and check it out. Let me let me see. I can't open it to show you, but if you have your catalog nearby, um, I will look it up. It's Celebrate Sunflowers is the stamp set. So you can find that on page 13. And there's a whole slew of products that all work together with this. There's actually two bundles. It's called Flower for Every Season Sweet. So it's two separate bundles. The other bundle is including this stamp set, Jar of Flowers, with a coordinating punch. And at the end, I'm going to have some samples to share with you. So if you're not into dyes, you might want to check this out. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. It's a lot of fun. And the Celebrate Sunflowers comes with a set of dyes. And if you purchase the two of them together, you'll save yourself 10%. So here is the stamp set, and here are the dies. Real pretty dies. You could see that this is well-loved. I've been playing a lot with it. And what I wanted to show you tonight is a few different ways to use this stamp set. So if you've been on the fence, or I, you, know, you aren't convinced yet that you need this, I want you to let me know by the end of um, my demonstration if I've changed your mind and said, yeah, I really do want that. So a lot of people maybe don't like to color. So I have a solution for that. A friend of mine, a demonstrator over in the UK, she came up with this great idea and her name is Ruth and she goes under Artful Stamping. And I just thought, you know, this was the greatest idea. So I'm going to share that with you. And I'm going to share with you a couple other ways. If you do like to color, what you can do. So let's see. First off, let me share with you. Um, now, I'm actually not doing projects. I'm doing demonstrations on ways to use this set or any sets that have the coloring. So just to give you some ideas. So here's a fun well, I don't want to call it a card, a fun sample I did. And um, this did not include any coloring at all. I want to show you how to do this, but I want to use a different color. So I'm going to use Cajun Craze. And um, let me get my two stamps out. So I'm going to get the big sunflower and a small sunflower. Let me show you a little tip with that. Now, when you're using the dies... It's very difficult after you um, stamp this and want to cut the image out how to place the die because of the way that you know there's so many little nooks and crannies here's what I did I picked a spot you know and I thought well this one is kind of pointing that way so that's a way that I'm going to do mine I took a permanent marker and I colored right in on um, my die I also 
colored on my stamp. I did the top and I did the bottom piece. I know you can barely see it, but it's there. So when I go to stamp it, I'm going to make sure that I place, let me turn it this way, I place this going that way. And then when I go to cut it out, I will know that that's how it's going to lay right on top in order to cut that out. Because otherwise, you have to keep doing twisting, twisting, twisting on your um, stamped image. So that's just a little something that I chose to do. Um, whatever works for you, but that works for me. Okay, so let's get back to the sample. I'm using Cajun Craze. Make sure you can see me. Yes, you can see me. Okay. And I'm going to ink up, and this is a big stamp. If you're going to use this for watercoloring, well, I'll go over that later. Um, I'm just using my block, and I'm just going to stamp my sunflower. And look at that. Wow. And see, it has a little bit of shading on there. I didn't ink it up all that well, because really, you should ink it up this way. But, you know, you know me. Okay. So I'm going to do two, eh, maybe one there. And um, I have my stamp and chamois. What I like to do with them, I have multiple ones. So I put them in a old wood stamp box, which you can still order these. They are still available. And of course, I have a couple of them. And some of them I cut in half. And then one of them I cut into quarters. So you may be wondering, well, why would you do that? Because if I want to clean, I can just take this right to the stamp and clean that way. That's why, no big deal. But just want to tell you different things of what I do. You can choose to do, you know, however you want to do. So let's throw in a couple little ones. We're going to overlap if we want. Uh, maybe a little smidgen up there. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my Wink of Stella. Now you can use your Wink of Stella. You can use um, an aqua painter. And look, if we go over this image, just with Wink of Stella or with your aqua painter, which don't worry, I know they showed them that they retired, but they're reconfiguring them. So they're not going anywhere. You can color this all in. I'm gonna have to squeeze a little more of Stella. Wink of Stella is literally like a brush that has um, a glistening. Ooh, that's a little too much. Let's spread that out quickly. A little glistening, so it kind of has a little bit of glitter. Now, of course, you would take more time with yours. You wouldn't zhush it out like that. But it'll dry. And this will color in your images. The one thing you want to make sure is, I have my ceiling fan on, is um, you don't want the ink to dry too much. Because once it dries, then um, it's a little bit harder to get it to color in. So... Let's go ahead and do this one. Did I do that one? Yeah, I did do that one. I'm gonna squeeze it into the lid so that that doesn't happen again, what just did. <laughs> and all it did was just give it a little more glistening, that's all. So I'm gonna squeeze a little. And like I said, you would take a little bit more time when you do yours. But coloring outside the lines is perfectly fine. Um, let's see. Hey Kay. Oh, I'm missing the. Hey, Lisa. No problem. I just shared your card. Okay, the sound is okay for everybody. I moved my laptop from in front of me, so I'm kind of missing comments. So anyhow, um, and there you go. So you don't have to worry about coloring. All you have to do is just stamp. Now you want to make sure you use one of our dye-based inks. Um, because they are um, water soluble. So you can use your aqua painter or you can use your Wink of Stella. And I'm not sure if it's showing up, but it has a glistening effect on there. And that makes a real pretty background, just like that. So I'm going to set that aside because where I did my big bloob, kind of still wet there. So there's one way to color. Put my ink pad back. Okay, so another way to color. Um, is with watercolor pencils. So here is uh, the sunflower that I did with watercolor pencils. And um, we have two sets of pencils. And again, this is a stamp case. I put my pencils in here and I have the two of them together. There was also a kit, one of the watercolor kits that they had that had pencils in there. So you can um, 
you know, it's a great way to keep them all together as opposed to they come in a cardboard box. So to do this, you definitely, you want to use, let me turn this. You don't want to use memento ink when you're doing this. Now my iPad's in the way. When you're doing this, you want to um, stamp with a stays on ink because with the water, if you use the um, memento ink pad, it's just going to run with the water. The memento ink pad is used with your alcohol markers. So the stays on is used if you want a watercolor. Okay, so I believe, did I do one? Yes, I did one. Now let me show you a difference. So another thing, um, you know, the warmer months are coming, um, the dry months from the winter, they sometimes dry out your ink pads. So this was the first time I stamped. Now I also used my um, stamp a magic no, what do I wanna call stamp a magic Stamparatus, because this is watercolor paper that I did this on. And a lot of times you don't get a good image the first time, so the stamp, Stamparatus will help you with that. So when I stamped it a couple times, I thought, oh, well, that looks good, okay. And I thought, well, I'm gonna re-ink my ink pad. So um, we sell these, is this the right one? That's a stays on. We sell these little bottles that you use. This is the Jet Black Ink Refill. And all you do is you take your top off of the ink bottle and um, you just squeeze it out, and I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again. And you'll see that will absorb and give it a little bit. Another idea with this is to keep it, when you store it, store it upside down so the ink will go to the top of it. And another thing I did was I took a glue dot, cause there's a plastic, um, like a little plastic piece clear that goes and seals this up. I took a glue dot and stuck it inside there so I won't lose that little plastic piece and it seals it up really well. So store it this way when you're not using it. So after I inked it up, this is the image I got. Like look at the difference, like wow. Okay, so I'm not gonna use that one because I could always turn it around and use it on there. All right, so watercolor pencils. Watercolor pencils, we're gonna use aqua painter. You can use a paintbrush if you wanna use that. Um, with the pencils, and like I said, I have the two sets all combined into one. Um, you can do that if you choose, or just you know start off with one. So I know I have these off to the side. I want you to be able to see. So I'm basically going to, um, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of yellow. And this is a great way to, to blend. I mean, if you don't have a lot of money, you love the um, Stampin' Blends, but maybe it's a little bit out of your budget. This is the next best thing. And you don't have to be perfect with this. Hey, lovey, hello, Kathy. I happen to glance over and I see your cute little face there. How you going? I think I'm watching too many Australian demonstrators because now I'm starting to say their little phrases like, how you going? <laughs> Love the pencils in the case. Yes, anything to help organize, right? Okay, so let's just take a little bit of the orange and they do have the colors on them. So they are stamping up colors. This is pumpkin pie. And I don't know if any of you know, but before I came on, I'm like, well, you know, sunflowers, we always know sunflowers as being um, yellow. But did you know that there's all different color sunflowers? There's actually purple ones, and there's actually one that was called um, terracotta. So do a search, you know, don't just think yellow all the time, you know, think outside the box a little bit, outside the watercolor pencil box. And you'll see, I am not doing anything you know, now the, on the tips, I am gonna use yellow. So I wanna keep the tips a little bit, you know, yellow. So I'm not even going right to the end. I'm just kind of scribbling and I'm just gonna turn my paper. Do you mean the stays on that's how it is? I believe the ink is heavier, but I think it makes the image look better. See more stronger one. Um, well, they all have the Memento and water um, do not go well together. Let me show you what happens. Um, where's my, I had a sample. 
Oh gosh, where did I put it? Okay, if you stamp with um, Memento ink and you put water to that, this is what you're going to get. Okay, because it's the water's going to blend in with the memento ink. So memento ink is basically used for the stamp and blends. Okay, this is what you'll get. You'll get a mess. It is stickier. It's a little bit thicker. It's a permanent ink. So, you know, you can use it on um, non-porous surfaces. You know, whether you want to do um, stamp on um, tile Coast, make coasters or anything like that. It works well with that. Okay, so I have a little rag here, just gonna keep handy, and um, my aqua painter. And I'm just I'm gonna start on the inside. I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit, and I'm just squeezing a little bit of water. And you can just blend these colors. I'm gonna start on the outside. Let me bring a little more water and just blend all of these colors together and it will your paper will curl a little bit but once it's dry it will uh, flatten out or you can use your um, heat tool to um, to go ahead and flatten it out and let it dry quicker it dries pretty fast okay so now i'm going to go in and i'm going to pull some of that color now another thing you can do is um, you let it dry a little bit. It's still wet, so I would definitely let it dry. Bring in a little bit of the uh, Rich Razzleberry. Once you let it dry, you can go ahead and add more color to it. Or what you can also do is scribble on your paper, take your aqua painter, and pull your color that way. Let me bring a little more water out of it. So if you don't have the aqua painter, I'm sure you have a paintbrush or something. Um, you can use that. And I'm just wiping it on here to clear the color off so that, you know, it's, it's a clean brush when I'm going to pull more color. Okay, well, you get the gist of that. So um, there it is there. It's still wet. Um, you can also use, instead of the aqua painter, you can go ahead and bring in your Wink of Stella and do the same thing. But this is the watercolor paper, and this will sustain the water. I don't recommend using any of your Whisper White or Very Vanilla, because you'll get little pills. So here is the, um, the sample one that I did. And um, you can see how pretty that is. And they're all going to come out different, and there's no worries with that, because all flowers are different, right? So that is that. Now... Watercolor pencils, everybody loves them once you play with them. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but you'll catch on the more you play. So what I'm doing for June, I'm doing a giveaway because if you all missed the beginning, you'll want to go back and watch the beginning, what I'm celebrating in June. Um, if you purchase the, um, the whole Celebrate Sunflower Bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies, I'm going to send you for free as a thank you gift a pack of the watercolor pencils and this is assortment two okay so this will be sent to you and I already have them because I was preparing for this so I have 10 I have 10 boxes of watercolor pencils so the first 10 people from June 3rd onward because that's the first day you can order you will get a pack of watercolor pencils as a thank you gift from me when you purchase the uh, sunflower dyes and celebrate sunflowers as a the full bundle okay so if you have any questions about that you can let me know what am i missing uh, pretty beautiful all flowers are different each card unique what kind of little pills little pills like you get on your sweaters it gets like little tiny you know like you know, not pills like drugs, you know, Nancy. <clears throat> but you know how your sweater, how your fabric gets, like little tiny balls, you know. And what will happen is eventually your paper will tear because that is not made for um, for lots of water. You can get away with a little bit. You can use a blender pen. The watercolor pencils work very well with blender pens. On Whisper White, you can do that. But again, not too much because it'll end up um, getting, you know, too much. 
So um, here was another technique that I did. And um, this one was just done with our regular markers. So you can see the definition in there. You can see where the one color stopped and the other color, you know, um, started. I did notice with the, um, with the more, the colors that kind of are more alike, like I did here on the outside, they kind of blended a little bit, you know, but with the markers, this is the kind of look that you'll get with the markers. And these are our stampin' markers. These are our plain markers. Okay, you'll get that look. Okay, so I have another look to share. And did I have another one stamped? I don't think I did. But here's another one. So I don't have one stamped. But we can fix that real quick like, right? We'll just stamp another one. This one is actually done... Um, using our ink pads. So let me get my stamp apparatus. We'll just stamp one real quick like. So again, I'm using stays on now because I'm going to be using um, water. Now the watercolor paper has two different sides. One has a rougher side and one is a little bit um, smooth. So you want to, I, use, I like to use the smooth end. And I'm going to use my stamp apparatus and um, I'm going to put it there in case I want to um, punch that out with my dies. So um, this stays on. And again, this is nice and juicy. Just inked it up before you all came. And I don't know. I love the smell of this. It smells like almonds. Do's and don'ts. People do and people don't. But I do. I like the smell of paper. I'm coming out of the closet, people. I like the smell of paper. I like the smell of stays on. I like the smell of freshly baked bread. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. That looks good. Now, the only drawback with using the stays on is to clean this. Um, however, we do sell in a bottle a stays on cleaner, and it works wonderfully. So it will clean all of this off of here, no problem. But that's okay. It's well loved. I'm just going to stick mine on there for now. So there's our sunflower. Okay, so this time we're going to be bringing in our aqua painter and we're going to be using our ink pads. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. That we don't need. Okay, so here's my sample. So again, I have my little rag here. Let me clean this off. Another thing I do is I keep in my stamp room just a bottle and I put water and I just refill it. So then I have it for if I want to use my aqua painter, if I want to use um, my mister, whatever I need to throw some water in. I already have water here, so I don't even have to leave the room. Isn't that fabulous? I think it's fabulous. Okay. All right, let's move you stays on. You are done for today. So I have soft suede, I have crumb cake, I have crushed curry, mango melody. We're not using any green. Um, I'm going to bring in a little bit, little bit of Cajun craze and rich razzleberry. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze some water out on my surface and see how that does not affect whatsoever with the stamped image. So in the lid, I squeeze that a little bit and probably a little too much water on there. And you're just basically gonna paint this. I like to start with the lightest color first and just add to that. And these are a little bit harder to do, but if you squeeze it, the, it will um, put ink. See how it puts the ink right in the lid? If you're worried about that, you can take one of your blocks and stick your block in there and work right from your block. Um, it's only water, so I'm not too concerned about that. Ooh, and it's very dark. Okay, so we're just gonna blend that in. And again, I am by no means Oh, went, well, what did I miss with Donnie Osman? I have a bottle of water. I do have a bottle of water. Kathy, you're a paper sniffer, right? Please don't tell me I'm the only one. 
I know you guys are. Come on out of the closet. Let it go. Okay. Um, you know what else I want to use? Um, ma, 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 ma. Clips of coral? No. Oh, here it is. Mango Melody. Okay. Use a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And um, you can color with this. And you can make it as bright or uh, lighter as you want just by adding a little bit more water, squeezing a little more water onto your paper. We'll soften that a little bit. And a little Cajun craze because I'm a little crazy. And mix that a little bit in there. But the thing I found the most amazing was um, the raspberry because I would never think to um, to include raspberry in this sunflower. I don't know what's going on with rubber cement. I'm missing out on some sort of conversation here. <clears throat> I don't know what you guys are doing with that. So here's the rich raspberry. Let me leave that for last. Um, the crushed curry. I'm going to use that on, oh, let me squeeze that a little bit more. This is my old ink pad. I didn't get all the new ink pads when they all came out. So Maya looks a little zhushy, but that's okay. Still love it. So on my ends, I'm going to go with the brighter yellow. And this, it dries pretty quick, I have to say. It dries pretty quick because I'm not using a whole lot of water. And your ceiling fan. Too much quarantine going on. Hmm. Uh-huh. I don't know what you ladies are talking about. I didn't see Frank come in here. Anybody see him come in here yet? Maybe he's working. Have I heard from him? He usually shows up. Okay. Well, you get the gist of that. But look at how pretty that's coming along. You can play with that a little bit more. You can add more color to it. Um, let me add a little bit. Did I do the, razz, the razzle, rich razzleberry? Let me add a little bit of that. Ooh, look at that color. And just blend that out. So, I won't play too much more with that. Although I'm kind of, I miss mimograph papers. They were the best. Oh, with the purple ink thing, okay. I remember that. And then when you would do it, because I remember running that machine, like helping out, I was like the helper. And um, the paper would be like cold to touch when it would um, come right off that machine. Ooh, I love the smell of that. I hope you guys, what if you use shimmer paint and mix it? Yep, you can do that. Let me show you one more thing. Let me close all these up. One more thing you can do. I'm going to put this down. Put that on there. And I have one of these um, Stampin' Misters. Not like the Misses, the Mister. I just have water in here. And if you go ahead and spritz this, what will happen is you can go ahead and use your towel if you want to dry up a little bit because the paper will kind of give you a little curl to it. But... Um, that will end up, you know, really blending those colors for you. And you can stamp a whole background and do that. And that's what I did at the end of this one. Then you could go in with your Wink of Stella over that, cut that out, um, do whatever. But isn't that pretty? I love that technique. Okay. Then you can also use, of course, um, your... Memento ink pad and color with your stamp and blends. I have some samples of that that I'm going to share, so I'm not going to do that. But 
I have, is that the one I was going to, yeah. I have one final way of doing this whole thing, and that is um, the one way that Ruth recommended. Is this still wet? No, that's good. Okay. So I'm going to take a whole sheet, and um, I have either Whisper White or Very Vanilla. I'm going to go with the vanilla, only because I have a lot of vanilla, and I need to start using it, because I have not been using it. And I'm going to bring in my sunflower, the little one. And let's bring in this one. Okay, let me clean that off, dry it off. Oh, look, I did on my paper. Okay, here's what we do for that. Turn it over. Don't clean near your work surface. Okay, so you can do this two ways. You could use any color you want as your base. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my soft suede. And um, I'm going to be doing an oop, overall stamping. So let's see. We'll stamp one there. And I'm not going to worry about being overlappy. One there. There. Well, let me do it this way just because I'm otherwise I'll be here all night. There, there, there. So if you want to make a bunch of cards, you can do a technique like this. Okay, so get my other sunflower and I'm going to just overlap. And then let's bring in a couple of the leaves. It's probably easier if you just turn your paper rather than twisting your wrist all around. Okay, that looks good. Um, then we have these other leaves. Now, here's what I did with my other leaves is I cut them apart because sometimes you don't want, you know, these two leaves together. So you can do a little stamp therapy and um, <laughs> cut your stamps apart and then they'll go right back together again. They don't care. They love you. So you can do that. Um, then what I'm going to do is those of you that attended my bingo last year, remember the painted poppies? Well, we have some fun things in Painted Poppies here. So let me close this one up. I'm done with the, um, the soft suede. I'm going to bring in some crumb cake. Oh, and I guess i got to clean my stamps because I need my blocks. La -ta -ta. I hope I'm not missing any comments. Am I missing anything? I'll have to go back in and watch. Well, I don't need the big one, so I can leave him there. Okay. He's back in here. Okay. So, the painted poppies. I'm going to use this little smudgy one, which is kind of like a crime scene. And this big blotchy one. Use that, too. And I'm going to take this little splotchy one, and with the crumb cake, I'm just going to kind of fill in. You can do stamp one and, you know, stamp a second time. Just to kind of fill in some of those empty spaces. And one more. Okay. So that looks good. So there we have that, right? Let me clean that off. So I'm going to need that. Oh, you know what else I need? I need this other little one. So it has this little splotch, it has that little splotch, and then that big blurb. So I'm going to be using all of them. Okay, so now here's where the fun comes in. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use our ink to color this sheet in. So we have our crushed curry. 
and this big splotchy thing we're just going to ink right over the top of these and don't worry you will be amazed when we are done with this and um let's see i missed a little bit there and you could do like with the stamp off thing oh there okay then um with the little ones i'm going to bring in soft suede i'm going to use this little guy for the centers stamping on the centers i hope you could see this because i'm kind of just like going all over the place and i'm not really watching where i'm doing if you guys can see you can stamp over the centers of those it's just basically going to look like a hot mess so but you're going to be amazed when you're all done okay get rid of that big flower off of there clean this okay so next we're gonna go with um a little bit of the mango melody now this one i don't want this full kind of making some room here I want to stamp off with this one. So this is going to go over here. And you're just basically filling in wherever you feel you need some color. So rather than having to sit and color all these in. This is the cheater method. And I think it looks really great. This is kind of one of those things where when you look at it, you're like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? But when you step away, this is uh, Granny Apple Green. When you step away and you come back in, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at that. Now the little sunflowers have little tiny leaves. So we're gonna do some green on those. And you can even do it on the big ones too. So on the big ones, you can just fill in like that. Are y'all still with me? Oh, I hear nobody talking. It's like pins and needles. Okay, where did I miss? Um, ba -ba -bum. But I thought this was such a great idea. Okay, I missed there. And it doesn't matter. If you miss some spots, don't worry about it. This is no fuss, no muss. Okay, that looks good. Okay, then um, let's see what else do we need. Hmm, I'm thinking I need another yellow. Um, let's go with our Daffodil Delight and bring our big slotch, slotchy in here. Add a little bit more yellow to that. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so... There's our hot mess. Let me clean all this out of the way. And the green. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring in our um, Stampin' Blends. Um, and I wanna go with the, what's this one here? This is the Dark Daffodil Delight. I wanna use my brush tip. And all you're gonna be doing is just going over these ends and you can see, this is just quick, quick, quick coloring those in. I'm thinking I need a little brown, so I'm going to be going over the centers with that. Coloring in the leaves a little bit more. Then what you can do with this when you're done is you can cut this up and um, you'll have like instant cardstock. That's like designer series paper, but you designed it yourself. 
So think of any of the stamp sets that you already own that are um, the type that, you know, you have to color and you don't want to color sometimes. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these. Do this. Do that. A little bit here. And because these are Stampin' Blends, you could actually go in and, you know, add some more color to it and um, color it in. So here we have the Granny Apple Green. You can go in and, whoop, I want the other end. This is the one time that I do like the brush tip. You can add a little bit more color to any of the areas that you feel as though it needs it. Um, I like the splotchy look. This one. The thing that I think makes it though is you can go in with your light and dark soft suede. Always go light. You can always go back to the dark. Add a little bit. To the centers. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to be needing a new one of these soon. Let's go with the dark. Now don't forget when you put these these on, these are alcohol inks. So they're going to be a little bit dark. When they dry, they're going to lighten up. And I'm telling you, when, you, when you're done with this, you're going to be like, wow, it came out pretty cool. What other colors do I have? Um, you can go ahead and bring in some dark crumb cake, add a little bit more, kind of fill it in a little bit more. Then if you really want to be I need some yellow on there. If you really want to be advantageous, let me finish this. I need some yellow right here. So then what you really, let me close this up. I think I need a little bit more on this one. There we go. You can go in um, with your week of Stella and um, you can do the tapping all over. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it glisten. Or you can do it where you flick it. Squeeze a little bit in and just do the flicking method. And then when you're all done, you have a whole sheet. Let me turn it this way so you can see. A whole sheet that you can cut up. So let me show you. When you cut them up, you'll get, let me move that out so you can see. You'll get, you know, you can just take this and cut it at, you know, four by five and a quarter and get little pieces and put cards together. Um, here's another one I did. And they're all going to look different depending on what colors you work with. Here's another one I did. Look at that. Isn't that like amazing? And look how they all look so different, but they're basically using the same colors. So now what I want to do with this is I'll bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to turn it over so that I can see better. And you can trim it at four, or you can do four and a quarter and make a whole card front and five and a quarter. Oh, there's Frank. Hello, Frank. Amazing. I know. I'm just, I'm just amazing, everybody. That or they're just saying she is a hot mess. Her paper's not a hot mess, but man, she is a hot mess. And um, go ahead and bring yourself in some card bases and you can take these you can trim them up a little more. I had to walk dog. Oh, okay, that's good. Of course, you knew my live was on, but um, those are all the different types of backgrounds that you can make just with the stamps and not having to do all that fancy coloring. 
So what I, I do have a giveaway, and what I'm going to do is um, these cut pieces, I'm going to send them to you in the mail, and um, you'll have these already stamped, and you'll be able to take these and make cards of your own. So I'm going to write down a number, and I have some samples to share, so don't anybody go anywhere. Hold on a sec. I'm going to take a little scrap. Oh, da -da -da -da. And I'm going to write a number down between, let me get a pen. Oh, I'm like off kilter here. Where's the pen? Oh, here we are. A number, let's see how many are here. Okay, a number between 1 and 15. Okay, I wrote my number down. So the person that picks the number will be the winner, the first one I see. Now, of course, don't forget. You're going to see different than I am. So um, the first one I see with the number I have between 1 and 15 will win the giveaway, which is going to be these really cool 12, nope, 9, nope, 8, nope, keep going, 5, nope, 3, nope, keep going. Keep going. Six. Nope. Fifteen. Nope. Fourteen. Nope. Fifteen. Nope. Thirteen. Nancy. Yay! So, Nancy, where's my pen? Congratulations. I will get these out to you in the mail tomorrow. Okay, you can stop guessing. <laughs> Nancy is the winner tonight of these fun card fronts. So congratulations. Let me flip this over. I have some more cards to share with you. So I talked earlier about um, the other new bundle coming out, the Jar of Flowers. So um, here's a fun card that I used a lot of new product um, using the Jar of Flowers and the punch and look at how pretty that is so this is part of the whole suite of products and um, if you like punches you like that so then here on the inside i stamped the little sunflower congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful and a lot of new product on that card and the next one this was colored with the stamp and blends real pretty and something I learned long ago is to take just a light little bit of blue and to go around the outside of your edges. And that kind of just softens everything up. And these are all, that was done with the Stampin' Blends. Oh, the jar of flowers. So not only is it flowers, look, it has like this little straw. So I didn't do anything yet with this, but here's a cute, like a little lemonade. So how cute is that? So that's another idea for using that. Um, so there's, I did a couple of them. These are the new in colors. Do you love these new in colors that are coming? I love them all. I think the bumblebee is probably my favorite. Here's another card and nothing on the inside. Did I do insides? Nope. Nope. But look at how pretty that is. And look at how they all look a little bit different. So here's one that I did. Um, this again, just jade, another new ink color, and it has an outline. So I just um, stamped on the colored cardstock with the colored ink, cut out the outline and layered it on top. I did the leaves on the background, a little bit of this brand new bumblebee um, grow grain ribbon. Now here's one. This is, my, I think it's called Magnificent Magenta. Look at that. I mean, definitely looking outside the box with the colors. Um, the black, look at how that just pops. Look at that bright color. One of my favorite colors, too. And here's another one. I use the designer series paper that coordinates with the new in colors. So it reminds me of denim. And on the background here, I don't know if you can see, but I use one of the new embossing folders on there. They are much nicer in person. What am I missing here? Love punches. Yay, Nancy. Thank you. 
So real pretty. And here are these little green pieces. This is part of the dies. And look at the leaf, how you can um, run it through the big shot with the solid. And then there's another one with the outline, just like the sunflower. Real pretty. Now this one, I'm not sure if I like this. I was trying to do a different technique where I kept all the flower together. I don't know. I'm just like, okay, well, I'm just going to make a card out of it. I don't know. It's kind of like dull, <laughs> but um, I needed to um, warm up a little bit. Now, if you're wondering about watercolor paper and embossing, this is the look when you use the um, Whisper White Craft Ink. And um, I use clear embossing powder and stamped. It kind of is so detailed that um, it kind of takes away a lot, but it's a different look, definitely a different look to uh, create a fun card with that. So um, we did a lot tonight, right? We did all kind of different ways to um, color in this beautiful stamp set. Um, I think this one is like the bomb though, to do a whole sheet and cut them up and you're good to go, right? And um, I'm looking to see what else did we do. Um, here's more watercolor pencils using the ink pad. This one, I didn't do nothing yet with that. But lots of fun things to do. So who is sold now? Who is definitely going to be ordering this bundle? And don't forget, if you order the whole bundle with the stamp set and the dies, you will get a free pack of watercolor pencils. I have 10 of them to give away as a thank you for purchasing this in the month of June. So it's going to be a June special. The first 10 people that order the bundle, these will be shipped out to you right from me with maybe a little something else. So um, don't forget, check out my events. I have an online virtual new catalog. I'm going uh, open house kind of thing. So if you register for that, you will be given a, um, a little gift in the mail and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to showcase some of the new stamp sets. I'm going to have lots of new samples and lots of fun things. So be sure to sign up for that. Your interest in this set has certainly increased. Yay! It was your number one pick. Love it. Um, I love sunflowers, so anything sunflowers, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, yeah, I got to have that. Um, oh, you're welcome, April. Thank you so much for joining. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Um, have a wonderful weekend. And um, I will be back on here next Thursday at 7 p.m. And who knows what, um, what the Facebook gods are going to do for me then, right? So thanks again. Everybody have a wonderful night. Let me see where I can end this and see you all later. Bye. Finish. <laughs> oh my gosh.